Hello Fratolowers and welcome back to Spellbound Caves and before we get started on the main mission today which is to finish off at the University of Arcane Enchants I have 36 levels to spend and we got this diamond sword in the last episode so let's pop this in and see what we get hopefully we can get something good Ooh, yeah. um, that is pretty rubbish to be honest um, Knockback to Smite 3. Um, not what I really wanted, seeing as I already have Smite 3 here. Um, blah. <laughs> um, definitely not what I wanted. We'll leave that one at home. Um, but I also want to enchant um, some helmets and, well, a helmet and some pants. Um, I brought this enchanter up from the Cenote of the Apprentice um, off camera. Just a quick trip up there. And everything went okay. Blast protection one. Protection one. So I have pretty much protection one across everything. Uh, I do have some stuff already here. Um, just that stuff's nearly broken. Um, I think we'll be okay in leather armor here at finishing off the university. Um, but I will gear up better for the nether and other areas. I just want to try and maximize my use of the leather armor. Well, we have it. Um, I can always go and collect some more iron from the tenuous crystals, as and when I feel the need to. But for right now, I feel that we're okay with leather. Um, why don't we do a um, enchant on the iron sword as well? Let's just put four on that. Ooh, sharpness one, not that one. That's not bad, actually. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. So we... Uh, are pretty geared up now um, so what I'll do is I will meet you over at the University of Arcane Enchants um, okay uh, this is unusual I've just come over to the tenuous crystals here and as I was coming into the crystals a lot of gravel started falling out of the ceiling so I'm not entirely sure what happened there um, darn that's a shame uh, I guess we could climb over it I guess so it's not a it's not a big issue it's just I'm surprised that it fell now and not while I was actually in the area. I wonder if it's some sort of trap that was meant to go off because it didn't go off while I was here. Um, I've beaten the area now. I beat it a good while ago. I mean, I've been here a, a number of times since and I've not noticed anything. I'm going to cut out those mobs over there. Uh, even though there is a golden armored zombie, I'm going to cut out the mobs. So, I know that there was gravel in the ceiling. There's gravel everywhere, but... I thought it was that when the ghasts went off on top of the um, building where the wool is that they would knock it down but something caused it to update apparently and I'm not entirely sure what that was but maybe there was a mob up there that ended up doing something I don't know but there we go uh, that's that so I'm just gonna head off back in this direction um, and we're almost here now so I won't, I won't cut the camera again uh, it seems pretty pointless so let's put you away. Um, I do have this mushroom stew I want to eat up first before we start on the baked potatoes. Um, so we've got a good pick. I want the fire resist on my bar because we're going to be dealing with the blazers that are on the far side. Um, so where is it? University of Arcane Enchants. How are we on torches? I brought coal but I didn't bring any wood so that's not ideal. Um, I wish I'd have brought wood now because we're just down to the last 38 torches I have, so I have to be careful with that. So, um, my objective today is to clear out all of that side of the building and finish the clearing the building off in general. I hate those lighting glitches, but what can you do? So that will be the objective. I, I didn't look at you, Enderman. And then we've got some gas and such to clear out a nearby the nether portal. Huh. Okay, so let's just get around here. I want to maximize the efficiency of my fire resistance part. I'm going to pick that skeleton off. That was not high enough. Still not high enough. There we go. Okay, so let's chug the potion of fire resistance which means that I'm now immune to any sort of blaze damage so let's first deal with this oh yeah they can still contact damage me which is not ideal and we still got spiders and such around 
So yeah, why don't we start and pick off those first. You can get out of here. Because I'm not worried about that. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Get out of the way. Here we are. There we go. Um, now I can just pick off the remainder of these with my sword. In fact, why am I wasting my smite sword? Let's just use this bog standard one. Although knockback is not ideal, to be honest, when dealing with these guys. Because that means they just get further away again. I'm trying to hit them. How many are left? I don't go up there. Can't be too many left now, I don't think. Alright, well there's there's four left, so I can pick these off with my bow. And he's gone again. You can go. Goodbye. I think there's just one left right here. Well that seems to have dealt with those fairly well. I'm just going to light the remainder of this up to avoid max spawn troubles. I'm not going to head over to the nether portal yet. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. So that's him dealt with. In terms of fire resist, we've got five minutes left. But I do have another potion with me. I'd rather focus on getting this cleared out as opposed to anything else. Chest here with melons. Well, we can make a melon farm. Eggs, potentially a chicken farm. Cookies, wheat for bread. Um, I'm okay on food right now. I can come back and clear that out. Um, did we do up here? Oh yeah, this is up to the dormitories, isn't it? Um, we didn't do here. You're a zombie. Oh, zombies. Give me that door back. So what do we got here? There's an alchemy lab. Oh, this is all um, brewing. Um, brewing stands and stuff here. We've got some potions here. Gas tears. Um, nether wart. Bunch of stuff, basically. Um... Got some potions in here. Um, yeah, a bunch, bunch of cool stuff in here. Let's put that door back. Um, there we go. So I'm out of torches now, which is not ideal, but this area seems relatively well lit. What have we got here? Enchanting lab. Books and papers. Um, oh, a bunch of enchanted gear. Um, and blast protection. Projectile protection. That's not too bad. Um, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, there seems to be a couple of uh, good different bits and pieces around here. Is, have we already looked in this one? Yeah, we already looked in that chest. Uh, a couple more in here. Unbreaking Axe. Bane of Arthropods 3. Unbreaking 3. Efficiency 2. Silk Touch 1. I wish I'd have found that before. Then I could have picked up the bookshelves and saved some stuff. Golden chest plate with protection 2 on it. And we've got some enchanters here. Um, well, honestly, uh, right now my boots have gone, so we can put new boots on. Protection 2, that's better than Protection 1. So let's put Protection 2 on with that. Um, any decent swords, knockback? No, there doesn't appear to be any in that one. Try this chest. Um, have we got any sort of better boots or anything? Um, put you away. I'm probably going to make this my next base uh, to save all the running back and forth to the victory monument. So why don't we uh, stack up all these books and stuff and get these out of here. Got some golden leggings. They're not going to last very long. Boots. Aqua affinity. Sharpness one. That's the really good pick. We could always use a, a really good pick. I'm going to leave these in here. What's this one got on it? Efficiency one. That's got efficiency two on it. And that's almost beat up, so we can get rid of that. Oh, 
What are you doing down here? Down zombie. Uh, trying to concentrate. Um, Alright, well. Projectile protection 3. Blast protection. I'm okay at the moment in terms of other gear. Um, I'm pretty happy with what we've got. But what I do need now is, if anything, more wood for torch making gear. Ah, uh, level 15 already. Um, so we're going to need more torch making gear. That's evidently clear. I don't think there's any wood lying around before we attempt to assault the portal. Um, which is a bit of a, a shame, to be honest, because I really wanted to uh, tackle the portal today. Um, is there any wood in here in this railway kit? Any wood in here? Oh yeah, there is. Excellent. Um, I can always re recoup that later um, from this railway kit. So that that saved me a long trip back all the way to the uh, to the um, Cenote place, uh, the Victory Monument. That's the one. Let's put you away. Is there anything I can really get rid of? Save some. Whoa! How did you get there? No on creeper. Back down there where you belong. I think he's, yeah, he's died anyway, so... Let's get rid of the string, we don't need that. The bone. Uh, the rotten meat, we don't need. Honestly, I've got a ton of arrows. Gravel. Sand. Even the bowl can go as well. Save some. Save some room in, in terms of inventory space. So, we have now, I think, I believe, anyway, successfully cleared this entire building. So we have the portal left. I didn't look at you. Uh, there's a cave down there we've not yet checked out. I'm looking at the way we could really assault that. And that seems to be down there. And we have the portal still to deal with. Um, so why don't we go and take on this cave first. I'm not crazy about dealing with nether portals right now. Yeah, you two fight amongst yourselves. And then I'll have the winner. Another concern of mine is this bow is going to be exhausted pretty soon, so I don't want it to break. Where'd that skelly go? Because I don't want to... Anger the Enderman. Back down there, zombie. Back where you belong. So why don't we go and collect these experience orbs. These can be handy when I get back to base. I might bring some of my equipment forward, though. I did not look at you. I thought I dealt with you last time. Is there a way down? There is now. There's a skeleton that way. There's a skeleton right here. Can they not reach me? In fact, I'm not even going to fool around with you. Got a couple of mobs around here. Creepers are not my favourite, I'll be absolutely honest. So let's... As soon as that durability bar disappears though, I'm not going to use this anymore. Skeleton gone. What's left? Is it just zombies? Because I can handle zombies. Yeah, it just seems to be zombies. Well, the lighting's gone weird. Yeah, it seems to... I think we're near the bedrock level, which is the problem. Magic bow, what's that got on it? Power 2. Ooh. 
Nice. So where's this uh, cave opening? Is it up here? Yeah, this looks to be it. University of the Arcane Enchants, Fleeception. <laughs> Quite possibly the work of a capricious conjuration student with too much time on his hands. Oh my! <laughs> um, goodness. Somebody did have a lot of time on their hands. Alright, it's following me, you. Get out of here. The giant fleecy box. How about that? So it's a fleecy box within a fleecy box within a fleecy box. Is. Are you stuck in a hole? No, you're not. It's falling around. No, don't blow up. Oh, never mind then. So what do we got? Spiders. So there's a lot of mobs here. It's difficult to see what is on the outside and what's not. So why don't we just take care of these enemies? I think these are just all natural spawns. I think this is what these are, so I'm not going to worry too much about these mobs. This just seems to be just a large cavern. It seems to wrap around there, but that doesn't seem to be too significant. Whoa. One of these days, my mouse is going to go funny, and it's going to make me look at an enderman. I just know it. Alright, so we need to go in there. While I'm here, why don't we just block off this so that monsters can't come behind me. Let's put uh, some light down in case there are spawners around here. Got a couple of mobs in here, not, not anything massive. Nothing massive to be concerned about. We do have ladders, so I can take advantage of that. Can you put ladders on glowstone? No. Oh, hello, enchanted sword dude. What do you got in that? Are you going to drop it? No, of course not. I was going to try and save and, and conserve on torches, but I forgot I do have wood now, so... Can, uh, we can light up as much as we want, really. Three skeletons? No, I, I think that's too many at the moment. There we go. Three skellies can be a bit too many. Oh, it's just creepers left. You want to drop any of that? But he's going to drop his bow, though. I always pick up the bows because you can repair them. Which can be handy. So I always pick up the bow because you can make fully repaired bows eventually using the standard repair feature that's been in the game for I don't know how long. Darn creepers. Sorry about... I've got a skeleton joining in the party. Let's get this area lit up. I bet there's stuff on top of the fleecy box as well, so... Right, we're going to need building blocks. And uh, we need to break in there. So let's climb up without falling off. <laughs> um, we can go in here. I can just bust this brick open. I hear a spider. Whoa, no! And that is why I don't like this area. You're just asking for trouble on top of these fleecy boxes. 
I just knew that there was going to be a creeper up there. You just knew it. So what's this one? The brown wool. Ah, I get the joke. Um, Fleeception. Alright, well... I guess we just need to head out of here now, don't we? Um, so that was what was in that cave, so... That's that area of the um, place done. There's some sort of light up there, but I don't think it's significant. Hey, slime. I could do with your slime balls. I don't think that light up there is of anything significant. I think it's just reflecting off where the uh, glowstone is. Same back here. Yeah, this doesn't seem significant in any way, so let's just head out of here. Collect these experience orbs on the way out. They've just despawned. Well, that's uh, Fleeception done. Uh, brown wool secure. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, certainly not what I was expecting to be in that cave. I thought it might be like a loot chamber or something. But obviously not. Something uh, far more significant, which is uh, another piece of wool towards our monument. So I'm super happy about that. So all we've got left to conjure in this place now is the exterior of the portal. And I am pretty sure that there's going to be a wool in the portal. Um, we aren't going to take on the portal today. Um, I believe, to be honest, I'm going to need some iron armor to tackle the portal. Properly, anyway, we're going to need some iron armor to, to take on that. Um, and at the moment I only have leather, so we might go and check out one of the other places. But... What I will do while I'm here is I'll pick up my iron pickaxes and we'll probably use some of the uh, lesser good enchanted stuff and what we'll do is we'll dig the rail tunnel through. Um, enchantment lab. I'm just going to put up a few torches around the place. Uh, no pickaxes in that one, but there were in this one. Um, efficiency one. These were my really beaten up ones. Man, I have so much junk. Let's just get rid of some of this junk in this corner. Um, bones, arrows, string, gunpowder. Um, what's that bow? Power 2? That could be handy. I might be able to get power 5 with that. Maybe. Flesh. Uh, we don't really need. Okay, so I, I think we're pretty good on that front. Glowstone. Well, I'll keep glowstone. It could be handy. Brick. I don't want brick. Oh, I've got a record. Far. Um, I already have that one, though. So let's pick up our pickaxes. Um, any other in there? No. Let's just book some papers in there. So I'll see if I'll be able to uh, repair that um, bow, at least. Um, and if we can, then that's a step in the right direction. I don't want to suddenly fire it and break it, though, so we'll use the remainder of this power 2 bow up. Just keep getting the odd spawn around here. In fact, I'm not even going to waste the iron sword on you because it's just one of you. So, first things first. Let's clear this up and I also want to make some more torches. So, a couple more. We've got 40. That should do us for now. There is glowstone in there, but I can always deal with that later. And gravel. I do have a shovel on me. So, I can deal with the gravel. So, this is supposed to go back to the Tenuous Crystals. Um, not entirely sure on that, though. Well, rather than me trying to do all three, I'm just going to go in a direction. I can hear mobs, so we can't be far away. Oh, let's keep digging anyway. Yeah, I hear mobs right nearby. And there's some sort of stone brick right here, so... We're going to be somewhere soon. Oh, where are we at? Oh, we're right there. There's the path back up to intersection 2. So what I might do here is rig up a T-junction. Um, 
Oops. Uh, let's just get out of here. I'll probably rig up a T-junction here. One way going back across here to the uh, Victory Monument and one going to the intersection. Um, and we'll also have one at the university as well. So we'll have a T-junction set up, I think. Um, but yeah, that's certainly going to help improve uh, travel. So I'll probably build that off camera. It's not really uh, that important right now. I mean, we'll rig up one of those. Just keep going up here. And we will place the brown wool on the Victory Monument because that's what we secured today. Um, wasn't expecting it though, I have to say. But on the other hand, been really enjoyable. I like that dungeon. Quite, quite a good joke, I think. Uh, here we are back at the Victory Base. So, uh, home sweet home. Brown wool. I'm going to have to drop some things off. Like the stone bricks. Let's drop the excess armor off. That, the glass bottle. Disc, I want to pick. Blaze rods. So, uh, we are doing pretty good in that sense. Oh, I didn't pick up the slime balls, but I do have five, so I'm okay. I'm not too worried about that. So, we need a sign. sign and a torch. I can I don't want to put them in there but put you there, put you there. There we go. Brown wool. So let's see, where are we? Cyan. Is it down here? No. Cyan purple blue brown. Um this seems like a bit of an oddity <laughs> being up here. Um but okay anyway. Um here we go. On a three, a two, a one. Excellent brown wool we have got. So we can put that underneath. We got that from the fleecy whoops fleecy box within a fleecy box within a fleecy box. Oh I can't fit it on. The fleecy box within a fleecy box times three. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Um, Lad it up. So there we go. Um, brown wool secure. Um, pretty happy with that. Clear these vines out of the way. So I th don't think we'll assault the nether in the next episode. I think what we'll do is we'll go and check out one of the other places at Intersection 2. Um, we have the Grove of the Dark Willow and the Rumbling Cavern. We might go and do the Grove of the Dark Willow, I think, next time. And we can uh, see uh, what's chilling over there. Um, sounds like somewhere in Viney and we haven't done anything with vines for a while. We've done caves and buildings mostly at the Tenuous Crystals and the University of the Arcane Enchants because now I also have my Enchanter as well. Um, I'm not too worried about... I think I'll be pretty prepared for there. I think we've already been to the hardest area which was the Arcane Enchants. I think we've already done that one. So let's see, how much would this take to repair standardly? 19 levels or tw 27? Well, I think that's pretty obvious. 19. How much would it take for me to rename? 26. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it for a bow. I think I'll be able to at least get one more repair out of it. Even if it is very expensive, I can repair one more out of it. So we'll repair it for that. And we've got a brand new ready to go bow. Um, I wonder if I could combine power 2, and I think I have another power 2 in here, um, and get power 4. I wonder what the chances are of that. Two broken ones. Oh, we only get power 3 from that. Power 3. Mm, I'm on the fence about that, really. Power 3, power 2. What's this one got on it? Knockback 5, unbreaking 5. Well, that's that. That's something I'll just think about. But we've got a fully repaired bow, which is what I'm happy about as well. So we have this really good pick. This is going to be my spawner pick, I think, from now on. And we'll just have a standard efficiency one pick as my main pick for digging around. Um, I'll probably enchant these, put level ones on them, and we'll, sit and we'll just use that. Probably just get efficiency, I think, or something. But that doesn't really matter. Um, we've got our main pick here. So between this and the next episode... I will probably build the rail line across um, to the uh, through the tenuous crystals back towards the University of the Arcane Enchants, 
um, and I'll probably set up a T-junction to go over to intersection 2 as well at the same time. Um, but that's that. Um, then we'll go and probably take on the Grove of the Dark Willow in the uh, next episode. So I thank you for watching this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. And I hope to see you next time. So until then, see you later and have a good day.